Nearly two weeks ago, Angela Logan's Teaneck, New Jersey home was in danger of foreclosure. And with just days to come up with the $2,500 she needed to keep her home, she hatched a plan to bake herself out of financial ruin. It turns out her cake, now known as the mortgage apple cake, has created a sensation. She's had trouble keeping up, so enter Josh Kay and Bake Me a Wish. The owner of the New York bakery stepped in to help fill the orders and fulfill Angela's dream. And both of us now join us this morning. Angela Logan, thank you so much for joining us. So, so first of all, tell us about what happened that put you in this spot, because I know that everybody around you, including your sons, were trying to help you make this payment. Yes, well, it started with a construction fiasco, thousands of dollars that started to put us in debt. Mm -hmm. And then one of my agencies closed and took several contracts, thousands of dollars, and that sort of thrust us into foreclosure. Um, my son had been trying to help and uh, it just got overwhelming and uh, so um, we worked with mortgage counselors to um, help us get the Making Home Affordable program and um, it took a long time for this particular bank to come up with their program so we were in limbo for a long time and all of a sudden BAM you have to have this amount of money and three months in a row in order to have your mortgage and I did not want to miss out on this opportunity to come out of foreclosure. Right. So I went to family and friends, and I, 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 I had this cake that I used to bake for the kids and for organizations, for events, and I, I asked the kids, I said, what do you think about me selling this cake to pay the mortgage? And they, <laughs> kids who usually say, nah, that's a bad idea because mom said it, uh -huh. they said, yeah, we love your cake, you know, it'd be, I think it'll be a great idea. So. Um, the kids, we said, what will we call it? We'll call it mortgage apple cakes because it's going to <laughs> pay the mortgage. And so um, I set out to ask family and friends. I stood up in class and asked my classmates, mm -hmm. and they just, I told them about the situation, and they just gave me money for cakes, and they bought cakes. I went to my church, they gave me money for cakes. Then my friends from organizations I have worked for doing non you know, nonprofit uh, fundraising events, they told all of their friends, and in between the Thursday that I started and the Wednesday, or the next Thursday, I sold 42 cakes from my home with two, four pans, uh. one bowl and one mixer so and the media got a hold of it and that's yeah. how you found out about yes. it Josh yes. and yes. you what me and, and, and bottom line is that you ran out of space in your kitchen to do it so it was just in time that you showed up so yes. what was how did you make the connection it's a, a big being wish dot com is a company that gives back and its whole mission is to give back we saw Angela I read the story and I said to myself this is a person who really is in need and we showed up at her house and we said we were there and she was staying up all hours of the night trying to bake cakes and I said you know what bakemewish.com is going to come here and we're going to bail you out we're going to help you pay your mortgage and we started to bake cakes for her. we're starting to bake cakes for her and so now what's happened is that you're this you've got how, how many cakes would you say that you're doing well we we got about 500 people called us for <laughs> cakes that was the problem so uh, we had there was no way I could bake 500 cakes in my kitchen, so the Hilton came in and gave us their, their kitchen to bake in. Then we said, how are we going to distribute all these cakes? That's when Bake Me a Wish said, we will distribute the cakes for you, and we will take over the ba massive baking Can for you. Can you believe this has happened? Because now you get to keep your home. It's all and this so is fast. I cannot believe it. Is this like a dream come true? It's like... Uh, I'm in a surreal, it's a surreal in other words. So what do you say to people who are like, who are in a situation like that you weren't for? And by the way, we're going to have some of this cake because I Absolutely. can't stand waiting any longer. I'm going to go for it. What do you say to those people? Well, I, I first of all, I, th I thought of something that I could do. And it was a bad time. And the first thing I did was say, um, um, well, what can I... The hardest part, I think, was to admit I had a problem mm -hmm. and to admit it to friends. So that's the first, first bit of advice. Yeah, yeah. Angela, Logan, the cake is fantastic. Oh, thank you. And I think thank by you. example, people will, will get the message that there are other things they can do to help. And then we're going to so be much. able giving back. Uh, we're going to give a portion of all the sales we have to giving back to other people in need. And we're looking and negotiating with a charity right now to enable that to do that. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank and you. best wishes to you. Thank you. And this is a sweet today on NBC.